Hey guys, today's video is going to be a quick one and what I wanted to do was show you how you can find out what keywords your mobile app or game is ranking for and at what positions it's ranking at and then talk about what we can do with that information. If you want more tips like this in the future, remember to hit that subscribe button. Okay, so if you haven't checked out this website before, make sure you head on over to App Annie. I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, while the features that this site has are really amazing in terms of competitor research and insights, 95% of them are locked behind a subscription. However, there are a few things that you can do here for free which are really valuable, including getting version history of any app on the respective app stores. So I'm checking out my own educational app here, and down on the menu on the left hand side you'll see that there is a new and unlock feature called ASO or App Store Optimization Keywords. And if you click on that it's going to bring up a list of all the keywords that your app is ranking for and where it's ranking at for those words or phrases. At least on the Google Play Store only the top 250 apps for a given phrase will show up in the search results. And this is great to see how you've been performing over time, but it will also give you insights on what you're ranking for that you might not have planned to rank for or be aware of. So for example, my multiplication app is currently ranking for kids' times tables, which is something I never set out to do. There are also loads of other keywords that I'm ranking for, but as you can see, the search volume is currently locked behind that paywall and so is the traffic share. So what do we do? Well, if you don't have one already, I highly recommend heading over to ads.google.com and opening a Google Ads account. Google Ads, if you don't already know, is a platform that you can use to set up paid ads for your apps, games, or almost anything that has a website. What we're going to do here, though, is click on the Tools and Settings button at the top of the screen. And under Planning, we're going to go to the Keyword Planner. Then I'm going to choose to get Search Volume Forecast, and it's going to ask me for a list of keywords. And so what I'm going to do is uh, hop on back to App Annie, and then take my list of keywords and simply copy and paste them into the keyword list over here. Uh, I'll just go through and check the formatting to make sure they're all OK. And then we can get going and see what kind of volumes we're getting for our keywords and keyword phrases. Make sure you're looking at historical metrics and if you need to change the lo location information to uh, the location that you're targeting or remove it all together to get an overall view. Then I'm going to sort my list by average monthly searches to see which phrases are getting the most traffic and I can also set up other metrics uh, like competition to get a view on how competitive each phrase is. So this will give us an indication of where we can try and improve our app listings to improve rankings for certain phrases that we might not currently be covering. And it could even inform some features that we want to develop in future now that we know that people are searching for them. So that's where we'll leave it for today guys. If you've released an app or game and you haven't checked out these tools, go and play around with them today. They are free. And as mentioned, for more videos on improving and optimizing your own apps and games, make sure you subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.